Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Uh, let me give you a preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is uh, some answers about what I found out. I did this uh, video the other day about uh, these uh, Wilton Pixies. And yes, I found out that this was fake. It's all fake. It's made by uh, this guy here, Aaron Saunders, who's actually an artist named Paul Smith. So we'll take a look at that. Um, let's see, I have this video here of an object seen passing the International Space Station. Also have a, another video of um, pilots, a recording of pilots who have uh, witnessed UFOs and they're, you know, calling the radar tower, asking them about them. Let's see, this is a video about um, Richard Doty, who is a counterintelligence. And in this video, he talks about how um, they were messing with this guy named Paul Benowitz, trying to convince him that, um, the, you know, the top secret, um, projects that they were working on were actually UFOs. Let's see, this is a video from 2017 about a, a giant hole that opened up in the Antarctic. I wonder whatever happened to this. Let's see, also have this video about a UFO sighting over Wichita, Kansas. And uh, this is an interesting video of a disposal, disposal of organic waste in a volcano. And you see it, uh, you know, erupt. Uh, and then last, it's just this interesting video of this guy's feet that uh, actually resembles hands. So anyways, let me get to this first one here. Yeah, this one, I did a video on this the other day. Um, check this out. Let's see. Yeah, let me start it right about here. This is this guy, you know, who's, who was, claims that he's looking for these, um, these pixies here. And yeah, look at the, this is, you know, this is amazing video. And yeah, and initially, I, you know, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't want to believe it was, um, it was real and it's not this guy here. That's uh, making these guy. This is actually he has this website called uh, Aaron Saunders, and you know he's got all these videos. Yeah, I don't know if you want to call him an an actor or an artist, uh, but he's definitely a visual graphic designer. Um, of course, you know thanks to the internet, this guy here, Obscure Lodge, found out Aaron Saunders Pixies real. Yeah, his actual name is Paul Smith. He's listed on this uh, algorithmic, algorithmic design website. So he's definitely a visual artist. But you know, this is the, the beauty of the internet. Um, nothing gets by the internet, which is, you know, why I believe that a, a lot of times, a lot of these videos that have been out for a long time, I mean, if no one has debunked them, there's a reason why no one has debunked them is because they're, they're most likely real. But then, you know, there were also there are also the fake debunkers out there like uh, Snopes. Yeah, Snopes.com is not a debunking website. That's definitely an establishment website meant to um, counter any any real truth that comes out. So anyways, uh, that's that. I'll leave all these links in the description. You want to check it out. Uh, this is a very interesting video here. It was taken on March 10th uh, this year. Let me go uh, full screen on this, but check this out here. The investigator was filming with a Sony a7 III with a Tamron 20 to 75, I think that said. But watch in a few sec there, look at this thing that, uh, you know, he's got it circled. And whatever that thing is, that thing is, I think it's, it's beyond the uh, internet. Oh, I don't think it's beyond it, but it's still, it, it seems to be pretty big. But what I find interesting is this guy says it's a lens flare. This is, this is nighttime. There's no sun, you know, to cause any lens flare. But again, in order to try and rationalize it, because I, I bet you he's one of these people that doesn't believe in UFOs. No, they're not real. You know, even though he just filmed one. Yeah, he's going to try and rationalize it by claiming that it's a lens flare. But anyways, uh, the link will be in the description. 
Uh, let's see. This is a video of a uh, multiple aircraft pilots witness two bright UFOs. And, you know, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Our pilots see UFOs. Our military runs into UFOs underwater because we are not alone on the planet. Okay, sir, there's, uh, there's nothing showing on either primary or secondary. Okay, it was moving so fast, it's like you can no longer see it, but yeah, thank you. It's uh, alongside you. Yes. If to uh, come up on our left hand side and rapidly veer to the north, uh, we saw bright light and then it just disappeared at a very high speed. And we were just wondering, we didn't think it was a uh, likely collision course, we were just wondering what that could have been. Or another object, like some kind of rear appears to be multiple objects following the same sort of trajectory. Uh, so very bright is the way we were. Okay, that's copy, Dan. Uh, is there a direction it was going in or anything? Great, right, copy, thank you. Uh, the Virgin 76 uh, also saw that in our uh, 11 o'clock position. Uh, two bright lights. Roger, that's copy, thank you. Glad it wasn't just me. So, uh, yeah, very interesting, that one. Well, you know, I don't want to play this whole thing, but uh, obviously, you know, two pilots saw this bright object. And again, you know, because of the Internet, at least I know, I've heard testimony by air traffic controllers who were directed uh, as part of their job to never report strange objects seen on radar. If they see something on radar and pilots ask about it, they're supposed to lie. All right. Again, I've I've heard testimony from air traffic controllers who have said that. So even though yeah, these pilots are seeing something, they ask the radar operator if 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 they see anything. The radar operator says no. The radar operator is most likely lying. But anyways, um, let's take a look at this video. Yeah, and see, and this is is proof how there has been a organized effort within the government to cover up uh, the ufo now sure you know um it's definitely used in order to um cover up our top secret uh, activities which again I, I completely understand but uh check this out years later i sat down with paul at dinner and told paul exactly that everything we did was a sentient counterintelligence operation to convince them that what he was seeing was UFOs and that what, what we didn't want him to know was that we tapped into something on the base and we, we didn't want him to ever disclose that. We kind of planted the seed in Paul that what he was seeing and what he was hearing and what he was collecting was in fact probably maybe UFOs. Benefits and others chosen by the agency were, it is alleged, given a series of forged documents. Many of them were top secret memos by the military, describing sightings of unidentified aerial vehicles. The documents spread like wild, and they formed the basis for the wave of belief in UFOs that would spread through America in the 1990s. So, anyways, that's uh, that's that you know about Paul Beno or um, yeah, Paul Beno. It's how he was fooled by Richard Doty. And remember, uh, Richard Doty was also interviewed by Linda Moulton Howe, and um, he did the same thing to her, where you know he fed her basically disinformation in, in order to uh, dilute you know, any, any of the real information she had. So anyways, uh, check that out. Let me go to this next video here. Now, this is from 2017. Uh, it's about uh, a giant hole. Now, you know, like I've, I've done the videos about um, the inner earth or the, the, the holes to the inner earth. I don't think this has anything to do with that because I think, you know, this is just has to do with global warming. Has anything to do with it? Here's the story. Scientists have tracked large scale changes in Antarctica over the last few decades. But now they're trying to find out what has left a large gaping hole in Antarctica. The name for this phenomenon, which is an open water area enclosed by sea ice, is a polynia. 
they're common in the coastal regions, but this hole is far from the edge and Antarctica is in the middle of winter. The hole is about 80,000 square kilometers. That's bigger than the Netherlands. A smaller Polinia was also observed in the same area back in the early 1970s. Some suspect that it's caused by global warming or climate change, which is typically the cause for most sea ice changes in the region. Certain conditions can cause the warm water in the lower layers to rise to the surface and melt the ice. Princeton researchers are studying the Polinia. They'll be looking at new satellite data to get more answers. Hmm. You know, this was um, from 2017. So I'd be interesting to see, uh, you know, how. Uh, what's taken place since then, if it's uh, gotten bigger or if it's uh, closed back up. But anyways, that uh, link will be in the description. Let me go to this next video here. Yeah, this is from March 7th, 2021, just recently, UFO sighting in Wichita. It was a UFO. Well, others say there's a perfectly normal explanation. Casey Life Higgins takes to the sky to find out what's up. Hundreds of Wichita residents shocked by this site Thursday, saying they saw what appeared to be a UFO. Videos like this one recorded by Wichita resident Mike Marler quickly circling social media. I'm driving back to work, coming home from lunch, and I noticed uh, something in the sky really bright. It was surprising because I mean, we, live, we live in Wichita, we see airplanes all the time, we have all the airports, um, but it was definitely different. After receiving calls and messages by even more people wondering what it was, we decided to go where we would have the best vantage point to investigate the sky. Uh, we just like a flight fall line to uh, navigate over downtown. We are uh, currently about one mile uh, west of Chabazin Square, 0420, We didn't see anything abnormal during the flight, and air traffic control didn't indicate anything unusual. Back on the ground, social media continued going crazy. Some people saying it was a military jet, some insisting it was a UFO, but others posting videos like this, saying it was actually an airplane towing a giant Arby's banner. But people like Marler, who saw it, aren't convinced. Logic would say that, you know, in the rumors that it was an Arby's advertisement plane, you know, logic would point to that. Uh, but it was, it was really fast moving. Really Can you imagine that? That they're, they're trying to convince people it was a banner now again, like this guy said, he lives in Wichita, Kansas. He sees planes flying and landing all the time. So what he saw was different. Like me, I live next to an, or an airport. I um I watch planes come and go all the time, and I, you know I I see them out of the corner of my eye. I don't think anything of it. And you know I'm a UFO freak. So if I see something different, then I'm going to take notice. But the notion that the you know that this news station is going to try and pass it off as a RB banner. But you know what? And I'm positive that there are people who are going to buy it and accept that answer. But uh, anyways, let me go on to this next video here. Yeah, this is just a uh, very interesting uh, disposal or of organic waste in Erta Al Volcano La Lake, Lava Lake causes violent eruption. Yeah, check this out here. Wow, that was a long drop. Wow, that was such a small bag of uh, organic material, whatever you want to call that. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty big um, reaction there. But anyways, uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Let me go to this last one here. Yeah, check out this guy's free feet here. They're called prehensile feet. Basically, this guy has hands for feet. You know, this means that uh, 
we we all have this ability if if it's if it's uh you know if our if our dna is told to express it um yeah there's you know what there's so much about uh our dna that uh, we're, we haven't been told how things can easily be uh, manipulated switched around and things like that but anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.